Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. <laughs> Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. Well, Oracle kind of. I never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. Oh, damn, Where Gav. Is. Where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. But okay. Not... About what? About your faithful hound for a start. He's if so curious like about that. Ever done that before. I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let mm. me know if you learn anything. No, it's a fair point. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I mm. will. Thank you. Make sure you rest, Jill. Clive has claimed a portion of the Icon Titan's essence. Nice. Otto, is now a good time? <clears throat> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Mm. Uh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. <laughs> good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. Oh, it's weird they came in time. to save right. him. Let me know when you find something. There he is. Hi. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Wow, you have really long hair. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. <laughs> Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. <laughs> you try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favour. Of course. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. <laughs> really? Yes, sir. Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did. Still a familiar trill pricked my ears. <laughs> As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. That's a shame. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on! <laughs> Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. <laughs> yep. Oi, Otto. You got Oi. my gill. Huh? What are you all of that? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Store him, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop, like the one I had at Okay. Mid, 
You've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. <laughs> I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. As sick could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Seriously? <sighs> Who else? <sighs> what do you want wow. me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. <laughs> Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? <laughs> for now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Out else? <laughs> oh my goodness. So sassy. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Yeah. <laughs> she already She's put me to, to work. Workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot would be much of a trader if I couldn't. <laughs> Excellent. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Karen. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Oh, an airship. I can do. That'd be so good. I'll bring them over <laughs> when I'm done. <laughs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Boiling this should be enough to How do, Master Sid? Bard off. Mids looking to build a workshop in the storeroom. And she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Hmm. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'm guessing I'm gonna have to I'd do that. I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? What other you know, fella? The one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Vardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Hey, Martha. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Our home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Sure. Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Cressida? As far as I know, he's still there. Okay. I'll look from there, then. Oh, I've ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? 
We need help in the hideaway. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go. A favor? Of course. Oh, wow. Well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Hmm. Any chance you could... Uh, Say no it's more. It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. This shouldn't take long. This one. There we go, there was quite a few of them. Do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you'd just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Mm, a while then. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. Should we maybe rebuild it? I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. Okay. I'll meet you there. All right, Clive. You've all done then? Yep. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Can I get back is to there story now? Anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. Cool. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh. Hi. Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Yeah. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. Okay. The shelves? The shelves. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Togo. I've been doing run-around quests. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? Hmm. It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Togo may be no mere hound but a rare frost wolf okay an native to the far northern reaches of valisthea in one of our oldest bestiaries i found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north 
Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. <laughs> Fenrir the Frostwolf. Didn't I call him Fenrir earlier? Now. I nailed that. The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. Mm. The girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. Interesting. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. Mm. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. I was going to say, it took a while right. for the... Abilities if to it awaken. If Toggle blasting those bastards to kingdom come, mm. Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a Frostwolf, mm. it had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <laughs> He's like, I know. And regarding your original <laughs> concern... You need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. I shall be a moment. I'm trying to do important story stuff. I'd rather be doing story stuff. <laughs> cool, now we have a creepy basement. <laughs> everyone else but I promise I'll pay you back I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot starting right now okay wait, I'll make wonders like this world's never seen then I look forward to seeing them <laughs> now that that's settled I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka Let's go find out. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. Hmm. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. Well, it was that guy, wasn't piece it? This puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. The one that just appeared from nowhere. Knocked him out and then ran away. Are we just going to stand here? What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. Hmm. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. Okay. A guest? Hmm. Suspicious. Hello. For your trouble. Oh, that's the yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron. Clive! 
Hi, my boy. Hi. Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. <laughs> Did we tell him where we were hiding? <laughs> Crystal. Meanwhile, well, that looks really similar to the one we just destroyed. Twin side. Okay, that looks pretty cool. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Hmm. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Wow. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. <laughs> Indeed, really? I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. Hmm. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. I don't think he's listening. The blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Hmm. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. Mm. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand... What worth is a piece of parchment? He doesn't seem oh. okay with this. Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while his highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. Hmm. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. That's a risk. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. Hmm. And what of your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Wow. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Seriously? For like... every home <sighs> that burns, another can be built. And what happens if they all die? You've got the no one to rule will over. Live on. Oh, he's really not happy. Dion? Is he a good yes, guy trapped sir. in, like, bad guy place? Oh yeah, he had this flower last time we saw him. He's huffing flowers. Prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp. Oh, I do not like and this await guy. await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Oh, I 
hate her. May Gregor forgive you. Mm. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Huh? So Annabella's tales were true. You believe anything she says? You disappoint me, Dion. Oh, I really can't stand her. Can you just go Bahamut and skewer her, please? Mmm, that kid is weird. <laughs>